hello guys welcome to jara space it's jarad here and in today's video like i promised last time i'll be showing you guys how to install apps in your cpanel uh, that sounds kind of something i do but uh, what i mean basically here is how to install wordpress and other software clause apps that you would want to uh run your website on all right so if you're new here i really make it easy for tutorial so i advise you to hit the subscribe button turn on the post notification drop a comment in the comment section if you have any questions after watching this video and also share this video so that someone else also will be able to benefit from this so without wasting much time let's just get down to business so the first thing you need to do is you need to log in your cpanel first and first like i told you guys you have to get a domain get a hosting host it and then you'll be given a cpanel just like this, what you're saying here and the first thing first you need to do is you need to log in your cpanel so you'll be given you definitely have a cpanel username and password then you're going to log in here and when you log in this is the dashboard that you you will be presented with this is dashboard so there are like all that like so many uh features here you can see the uh name chip ssl google apps and there's so many so many so many uh features here like i said you can go down and see there's a file manager uh where like everything about the website everything you're doing is being stored so here it is and there are places where you can uh create your email email filter and the rest of it you can add your add-on domains and so many other things here but that is not what you'll be doing here maybe in the next video or so i'll be showing you guys other features on this so for the sake of this video we'll be talking about how to install wordpress or other uh subject loss apps on your in your cpanel that's what. so first thing first thing to come here you need to click on this gonna let it load so here the next next page what you're going to be saying is you're going to send like most of the top scripts uh that you can make use of so here we have wordpress uh joomla we have a bunch of cards there are like so many so many so many of them here so it all depends on what and how you want to run your website if you want to run your website on any of these tomfin uh laravel any of it you can just click on it and install it okay but for the sake of this video we're making use of wordpress right so let's just come down here so when you click on you would want to come here and click on install so we're going to let it load so uh when you click on your toy this is what you're going to get here all right so there are like so many other features here you have to have an overview here here I tell you what uh what press is about you can see it here what press is software you can use to create a beautiful website or blog we like to see that wordpress is both free and priceless at the same time i'm sure you already know that wordpress is already free and of like dimension is priceless of course it's priceless because i don't understand why such an amazing software will be free for free but well it's nice that someone build this and drops it for us to use for free it's really really nice so we'll come here here are the features of wordpress uh like you can see here wordpress powers more than 23 percent of the web a figure that rises every day everything from simple wordpress well, website to blog to complex portals enterprises website and even applications are built with wordpress so if you want to if you have the time you can just go through this and read out everything that's here if you want to it's not mandatory so let's come back to the install so first thing first you need to select the HTTPS. then you need to click on this drop down and choose your domain all right so for the sake of this video uh the domain is already i've already installed wordpress on this available domain here but i'll just watch you guys show how it's supposed to work okay so you need to do is to select your domain here then here are the versions of the wordpress so this is the latest version 6.1.1 if you want to up, uh install one older version you can just select the one you want and install all right so here you need to set your blog name you can you can leave this uh with the suggested one here because you will still have the opportunity to change it later when you log in all right so you can just leave that so you select your admin username here 
I didn't even want to. Let's say Gerard Space. Gerard Space. All right, then you choose your password here. Let's see the password. Like, let's see Gerard Space. Gerard. Let's well, see Gerard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I say we'll go with that password. But we'll select whatever password you want. So here, this admin username, you can just put any email address here that you want that favors you. All right, so uh, then you select the plugins here that you want. If you want, you can just se uh, select any of these and they'll automatically be installed at your installing the uh, WordPress. Then you're going to select your language here for the same reason in English. So there's no need for it. But if you know English, you can just come here and select the language that you want. All right, whichever language that pleases you, you come there and you select it. Okay, so and here there's that list of themes that are available for you on install. Okay, so you can just choose any theme here and and to automatically install for you. And you can change it anytime you want. All right, so that's no big deal. You can still go with the one that they will, uh, the usual one that they'll put out there if you want. And when you're done with all of this, just click on install. When you click on install, everything. It takes a couple of seconds and everything installs and your WordPress dashboard will be ready for you to explore and do whatever you want to do. So in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to customize this website, how to uh, install plugins that you'll be needing, how to uh, choose a very good team, how to optimize it properly for your everyday use. So thank you guys for watching this video that was be all for today i advise you to hit on the subscribe button turn on the post notification and if you have any questions you will want to drop it in the comment section below see you guys in the next video